I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything for a while. When this whole corona thing started, I decided now that I had a lot of time to make videos, I would sort all the projects and um, get a lot of things done. So I went through all of my projects to make a list. And if one of your projects is here, well, sorry, it's still here. I was almost finished with the tie chain video, sorry Mike, and just needed to take some pictures when Corona happened. I have to work from home, so I tidied up my electronics corner, put up shelves and looked for another place to set up my light box. My project table was a mess, and the workshop was littered with stuff, including timber, a kitchen sink, and other things that I had gathered for projects. So I sorted the materials, built more shelves, moved the forging table, and installed the lake vise that I had been stepping over for months. And made holders for video rights. Oh, and for my video light remote, that I always forget where I left. Still having temper on the floor, I installed the tabletop and sink, and while tidying up afterwards, I found that I had hammers lying all around, getting all scratched up. So I extended my hammer holder and almost finished the video about making hammer handles for the hammer heads I had forged, sorry Esper, when I found the metal band for my anvil. I fixed the stand and secured the anvil and found the chasing punches that I made for the coffee project, sorry Jeff. While I was at it, I might as well fix up my chasing and engraving workplace. I mean, after all, I have an axe to grind. I mean, engrave. Sorry, Jeff. And then, as I had everything, including the kitchen sink installed, something happened. I have for a long time been telling my wife that a workshop is not complete without a lathe. And of all the wondrous click springy and this old Tony wonders you can make with one. And I mentioned it again when I saw some demo models at a very reasonable price. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but the conversation ended in something like, why don't you just buy the damn thing? So I bought one, and I mean, you can't have new equipment coming in without testing it, especially demo models. So I turned a scriber, but in my eagerness I forgot to film. Sorry. I know, I know. I'll try to get some videos out soon. But I have installed lights in front of the workshop, so at least there's light in the dark. Thanks for watching.